Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we have two smartwatches that have just been released in the last couple of days. This one here at IFA 2013, this is the Samsung Galaxy Gear watch. Now this is a smartwatch that only pairs with Samsung devices. Right now the Note 3 and it's coming out with uh, compatibility for a bunch of other Samsung phones so soon. But the big difference that you can see is I am in the direct sunlight and I keep on having to push this button to turn the clock on. So this is an AMOLED display and then over here you should see that you can clearly see what's happening here and that's because the Qualcomm Talk is based on, or well, the display is based on Mirasol display technology. If you've been following this for a while, uh, uh, I love this one because it is 100% sunlight readable and it is based on the technology of a butterfly's wing. So as the sun hits it, it actually kind of like fragments the light uh, through like a, an air chamber that would be like in like the thin filament of the butterfly wing and then it produces a color display. So the cool thing about the talk, I'm just going to go through this really quickly, is if you kind of tap down here, it brings up the menu so you can see that this is full color. So this is full color. Actually, we're going to go into the, sh into the shade because there's no way that you're going to be able to see the Samsung Galaxy Gear if I stay in the sun. <laughs> so here we go. We'll pull it. We'll pull this down. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm back in. I'm taking photos. Hold on. So there we go. So you can see that. Oh, it went on to battery save there. All right. So you can see that we have a full menu here. Open this up. We also have a full menu here. So the interfaces are pretty different. This just kind of goes up and down like this. This is actually a, a version of Android here on the Galaxy Gear. So you can see that there are, you know, there's a pedometer, there's music. Now if we kind of click into the music, and we click into the music over here, actually, I wish I could see this a little bit better. If I double tap up here, this turns on the backlight. Now this is really aggressive with turning off the screen because the display on the gear actually pulls a lot of power, whereas the Mirasol display is like under half a watt. So one of the things that I do like, this is not connected, but the thing is, is that this is saying not connected as well. But the big difference is, is that this comes with four gigabytes of onboard storage, and this comes with four twelve. So let's. Oh. oh, there we go. Sorry about that. And then here we go back into the music. Now, when it comes to uh, different things like, say, calendar, this has a really interesting. Actually, if we go back here, and then we swipe through, there's a whole bunch of different clock faces that we can use and some of them are actually just integrated in with your calendar setting so there's one with uh, just a stock price there let me turn the backlight on so it's easier for you to see there we go so there's a lot of information readily available that will update uh, for you as your smartwatch is connected to your camera now here we go here's with the reservation there but if we head on over here you can see that we have the entire calendar list now this isn't connected so but you can still see all of the information what's really good about this is that you know it, it maintains everything that you have even though you're not connected now if we go over here to the Samsung Galaxy gear and we, we head back oh, let's head back there we go we have a pedometer, we have settings, we have apps that we can go into. So there's actually a whole bunch of apps that you can have, uh, 200 I believe that it is. Uh, but all of these rely on connectivity to your phone. So now we pull this up again, do call logs, all your contacts. But where, where did I want to go? I wanted to show you the gallery because one of the big differences here, uh, this may be a color display. Let's go back, it's up. Oh, now it's over, let's pull up. Actually, there isn't a gallery on here, is there? There's the weather app. All right, anyways, they both have color displays, but check out the color on the Samsung Galaxy Gear. That's, that's just totally, absolutely beautiful. So you can also, if we go back and go back, we can also, where is it? I mean, there's only so many screens. I have to go through all of them to find the camera. Where is this camera? Where is the camera? Is it in apps? There we go. So here on the front, you can see here, there's a 1.9 megapixel camera. The top clearly does not have a camera. But if we kind of take a look around the booth here, you can see that the display is really, really gorgeous. Now this is 
uh, is three three twenty by two forty. Three twenty by three twenty. Three twenty by two twenty. Oh, that square one point six, and this is a one point five inch display. Now this is a one point nine by one point nine megapixel camera. And this is a one point five inch display. Now this is a one point nine megapixel camera. And we just tap to take a photo, and we can also take video. Now the Qualcomm Watch does not have that option. So here we are taking 10 seconds of video. Uh, as a woman, sometimes it feels a bit creepy, but whatever. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of show you the thickness between these two. So the Qualcomm Talk is actually much thinner than the Samsung Galaxy Gear. And one of the reasons why that is, is that Qualcomm has actually put the battery down in here, which actually reduces the thickness of the watch itself. Now, if we look at the power consumption on both of these devices, uh, they are quite different. This has an M3 processor uh, below 300 megahertz, I believe, and this has a single core processor that's 800 megahertz. Uh, and the other thing about the Galaxy Gear, uh, so they've got the battery in here, but there, that's actually a microphone, so you can hold this up to your ear and kind of talk into your wrist like your Dick Tracy, which is always a good thing. So that's just been a quick look comparing the Samsung Galaxy Gear to the Qualcomm Talk. I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks, taking a look at what's new in the smart watch space.